Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 56. And if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 6, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're going to start on the sheet PM1. PM is for Percentage Method of Calculating Federal Income Taxes. Remember in this chapter, Chapter 6, we're in uh, Section 6.4, 6.3, we're talking about deductions. So because when you get gross pay or you get a paycheck, you have to pay some of your federal income taxes. The employer in the accounting department always has to calculate federal income taxes, deduct them, and send them off to the federal government. So we last video, we saw the wage bracket method. Now we're going to see the percentage method of withholding. Now the thing about the percentage method is we have a bunch of tax rates, right? And back in video 48 and 52, we saw similar tables for piecework and commission rates, where we had multiple either commission rates, percentages, or piece rates, which were dollar amounts. And back in video 48 and 52, we had a lot of steps. Well, watch this. This table, and this is typical of federal income tax tables. When you find the row that you need to make your calculation, they've already calculated all the tax from the previous bracket. So tax from previous bracket, that amount. So they did all that, the heavy calculating for you. They already calculated the tax at 25, 15, 10, and of course, 0. right? So that's one thing about the percentage method, at least compared to our earlier commission tables, et cetera, is going to be quite a bit easier. Now let's look at our example. We have an employee, weekly amount, and gross single, um, and they have two allowances, federal uh, withholding allowances. Now the cool thing is, when you have gross pay, federal government says, well, we're not going to tax you on all of the 1,900, not all of the gross. They're going to actually let you keep some of it, acknowledging, yeah, yeah, we know you need to have some to live on without being taxed. And here's how it works. So. Before we can even go up here and calculate our table, we're not going to use that number. We have to calculate the actual amount of er gross earnings that are taxable. All right. So we take our two allowances, and we're going to have two tables in this method. This table, which shows us which our allowances are, and then this actually has the calculating tax information. All right, so let's look up here. Well, you first need to know what pay period. So for this employee, it's weekly. So you look up here, you find weekly. You jump over here, $70.19. That means if you have one allowance, you're allowed to keep $70.19 of your gross that are not taxed. Now, this person has two. So we simply take two times that, and that's the amount of the earnings that they won't tax. And then anything besides that will be taxed. So we're going to come down here to step one. And we're going to calculate the amount of gross that is not taxed. And it simply is, I'm taking this weekly. I look it up here, $70.19 times my two allowances. OK, so of this 1,900, 1,438 is not going to be taxed. Now let's go ahead and calculate our gross pay that is taxable. Oh, there's our gross minus our uh, two allowances. OK, so that's the number we're going to use to look up in this table. Now we have a couple of uh, steps to do, but let's go ahead and decide what row we're going to go on. Now last video, we had to do a two-way lookup. We had to look up row and column. This one, we just look up a row. right? So I take this. But now there's a big difference. These first two columns, if you remember last video, we did wage bracket method. The titles they had at the head of the column were totally different. So it always pays to read. Now in this tax table, it says over, but not over. That means when we take this number, we look down here. When we find a number here, it means that number must be over this. Like positionally, it means over it. It means if we're exactly 1,279 bucks, this is the line we're on because it says but not over. If it's 279, this tells me it's got to be over that, but not over that. So this is the category. We take this number, we find that this row is our row for calculating. I'm going to add some color there just to help us, all right? Now we come over here, the tax rate is 
Oh, but not for all your earnings because we have a bunch of tax rates from earlier in this tax table and they've already calculated that for us. This is the tax from all the previous brackets. So down here I'm going to calculate my federal income tax, federal income withholding tax. So tax from previous bracket, again I'm looking this up using that. I'm going to go get that number right there. Now another thing that's polite about this is they actually tell you the whole rule. Once you find the line you're on, it says please take the, the tax from the previous bracket plus 28% of excess over 1,279. Now, now where did that come from? Oh, it's from right here. Remember if you have exactly 1,279, 1, this is the row, right? So that would be the maximum amount. So that means 1,279 has already been taxed, right? And there's the tax on it. So that means we take our 1,759.62, that's the taxable earnings for this paycheck, and subtract the 1,279 and multiply that by our 28%. Now, I want you to notice something. We've talked in this class here, federal income taxes, um, if you fill out your tax return, it's always to the dollar, but these tables, um, round to the penny. So and on your, your paychecks, they'll round to the penny. But when you get to your federal income tax, it's, it's, uh, you have to round to the dollar. All right, so let's do our calculation. Again, it's this minus the earnings that have already been taxed at all the earlier rates times this 28%. Excess over that. All right, so you ready? Equals, and I'm going to do round, uh, whoops, round open parentheses, and then in parentheses, because we have to do subtraction before we do our multiplying. Oh, here's our gross that is taxable for this paycheck, minus the amount that's already been taxed at all the earlier rates, close parentheses, times, and then our tax rate at this particular line, 28 percent, comma 2, close parentheses, enter. And then your federal income taxes, this amount at 28% plus all of the earlier taxes, alt equals. So $360.92. Now we need to look at a couple other examples, and here's the reason why. Just like in last video when we did the wage bracket method, there was lots of different tables. Now this person is single, right? And they have their pay period is weekly. So we had a single weekly tax table and uh, this is the same no matter what, but this tax table is different. So we want to go over to our next sheet and we'll look at PM2 and this person is paid weekly but they're married. Alright, so the everything in this table is slightly different than the single. So this is married weekly. And again, just like the wage bracket method, you'd have a bunch of different uh, tables to look up uh, depending on marital status and pay period. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. SB weekly married 850 bucks gross pay for the week and three allowances. So step one is to figure out the, ta the gross that's not taxed. Again, we have a little table we look up. Ours is weekly, so we get this 70, 19, but we need to multiply it by 3, and that's the, those are the earnings that are not taxed. So I say 70, 19 times our 3. Now gross that is not taxable, I simply take, oh, the 850 minus the gross pay that's not taxable. That's the number that we use to look up in our table. All right, so here's the 63943. I come down here, and it looks like it fits right on this line, right? It's over that, but not over that. So this is going to be our line. I come down here. Tax amount from previous brackets. Oh, yeah, they've already calculated that we're polite. 1670. So here I'm going to say equals 1670. Again, our rule tells us here what to do, but we're doing it in two steps. So the second part, well, Here's our 639.43, but we already had the 1670, so that means 470 of our earnings are already been taxed at the earlier rates. So here I have to figure out equals and round, open parentheses. 
here's the gross pay that's taxable minus the gross pay that was already calc we already had calculated the tax close parentheses and times the rate on this line here comma 2 close parentheses and enter so 2541 so both of these added together will get of us our federal withholding tax alt equals so 4211. All right, let's go look at another one, PM3. This one we have employee FR monthly, and they're single. So we have a table here, single monthly. Oh, hey, this already had the calculations. What are we doing here? All right, first, step one is the amount of gross that's not taxed. We have monthly, so we look up here, and we're using an entirely different uh, one withholding allowance. So this person has five allowances. So we take equals five times monthly allowances. Now, why aren't we using the round there? Well, we could use our rule. Remember, anytime we're multiplying decimals. But this is always given in cents, and this is always an integer, so you'll never have a problem there. All right, now, gross pay that's taxable. This is the number we use to look up the table. So we say equals our gross pay minus the amount they uh, federal government allowed us to not be taxed. All right, so this is the number we'll use to look up. I come over here, and it looks like it fits right on this line here. It's over this, but not over this. So there's, I want to come down here to calculating. We have our tax from previous bracket, 2690. We're going to have to figure out, since 867 has already been taxed, and we have that tax there. We have to take this minus that and multiply it times that rate equals round, open parentheses, tab, open parentheses. Hey, here's our all of our gross that's taxable minus the amount that was already taxed. We already calculated the tax times our rate, comma 2. Enter. So 166.82, we add that together, and our federal withholding tax is 193.72. One more example on PM4. DK monthly, wow, check that out, 8,005 bucks married and three withholding allowances. So our amount that's not going to be taxed, three allowances times, and then this is monthly, right? Gross pay that is taxable equals 8,000 minus this. And that's the number we're going to use to look up. OK, so it's over that, but not over that. So this is going to be our line. All right, so tax from previous bracket, 712.40. The second part of the rule equals round, tab, open parentheses all of our gross that's taxable minus the amount that was already taxed on these earlier uh, tax rates, close parentheses, times the tax rate for this line here, comma 2, enter. And then we add these up, all equals. So 909.52. So that's four examples of the percentage method of withholding. There's two other calculations you might have to do in this chapter. State withholding tax, they just give you an estimate, right? The state income tax is this, and that's the, the gross. So then they have you do that calculation. It's Some states have it. It's an income tax. Some do not. And there's a total O that just gives you, so a business might have uh, FICA, the Social Security collected. And they have to double it. Same with the uh, Medicare, double it. And they might have some federal income taxes. So we did all those calculations in this chapter. But as a business, you have to add them up and submit them on uh, a form to the federal government. All right, so there are uh, some homework solutions over here for 6. And that's it for chapter 6. We'll see you next chapter, chapter 7, which should be uh, selling invoices and stuff like that. All right, see you next video.